okay I have done this video previously but it does not have any audio for us and few people are requested for this uh, in terms of an audio so here I'm, I'm I mean recording this thing in terms of an audio hopefully it improves the previous version if you go down to my channel and if you search my videos this is the number grid view part 13 inserting a records and grid view using a footer right so that's that is our plan so let's get started so in order to achieve uh, this thing what I need to do is first of all I have created a project named grid view in action I have added the database so as per the requirement I have created in my database which is done correctly I'm sorry done the next thing what I need to do is I need to add a table for this so what I'll do is right click on this <coughs> I mean when you double click on this you get the server explorer then you open the plus sign you get this thing and then you say add a new table okay I'm gonna shrink this guy a little bit then you say ID then this guy is int then you right click here you say right I mean as a primary key then you say first name then you say watcher 50 then you say last name and again watcher 50 so and let's add salary as well salary right again let's keep it watcher let's keep it simple and one more thing the ID what I am looking as I want ID to auto increment so what I'll do is I'll go down I'll check the identity specification instead of no I'll say yes increment by one automatically <coughs> and I'll save and say I call this uh, table as TBL user and it is done so let's go quickly and add some users right click show table data <coughs> I'll say rock star I'm sorry star that's a mar Marvin Geller okay then I'll say I guess two records are enough for the demonstration okay so now the database is ready and <coughs> the data is as well as ready in terms of this okay so now let's check our default.aspx this is our design page so we don't need a uh, data right now so I'm gonna close it down so this is my page default.aspx if you check okay and as you can see I got a simple HTML I have nothing added over there and from here I'm saying adding a grid view <coughs> just hold on a second okay add a grid view right when I say add a grid view uh, I mean there are plenty of other techniques by which you can add a grid view on this page okay so one of the simplest technique I'll show you is like you can go to like uh, toolbox you get the grid view right away <coughs> this is the grid view you simply put it here and if you check the design mode your grid view is up and running <coughs> so as you can see the grid view is here but there are things you know like uh, <coughs> when I set up the grid view okay one second so when I set up the grid view I need a connection string and all that stuff right so in previous days the people used to I mean like you know connect the data con they used to go in web.config there there was a section called as connection string initially it used to be empty they used to fill it up manually but these days the things are pretty different I mean I'll tell you how now what I'll do is this is my table okay and I'm gonna simply drag this table onto my default.aspx page hopefully you will not be able to see the dragging part but now uh, you see the grid view is right there right apart from that it gives me a SQL data source and a grid view but apart from that it makes few changes in our configuration file which we used to do manually so it does for ourselves now let's check that out previously you saw the connection string was empty now he added a new connection string tag he added automatically a connection string for us from where the database is coming what is the provider everything he done by himself now I can change this connection to string to my okay I'll change it my connection string or you can use the default which was generated by grid view no problem with that I mean this is I'm just using I'll be using in future to add edit records right <coughs> so this is the beauty of dotnet right so now I don't need grid view so let's delete grid view I don't need a SQL data source let's delete now what I'll do is we'll, do, we'll go 
in the traditional style we'll say a data let's add grid view this is a simple grid view no SQL data source nothing just a plain grid view I'll say F4 I need to configure a few properties which I'll say right here is uh, one second my mouse is behaving very bad just hold on what happened no 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 grid view then why I can't get the grip yeah got it okay auto generate uh, where can I find a property okay auto generate property auto generate columns equal to right now it is true so I'll make it false hopefully you can see right now I just made it false right <coughs> when I say that I mean that there are plenty of things which gets controlled by me now again my mouse yeah okay default.aspx page close it and close it so as you can see on my page I got uh, simply a uh, grid view that's it I got nothing else and one property configured article generate column is equal to false so now what I like to do is I let's go to the plan so far we added the grid view now we need to add the templates right I mean generally what happens is okay let's do one thing I'll reverse this thing and I'll do one thing I'll create a video in two way not one way two way I'll make the two parts because I'm anyways running out of time so what I'll do is right now auto generate columns are true if you go to design mode you can see they are pretty nice right let's go F7 quickly code behind and let's write a method load grid view this method does not exist but when you click on it generate some new method it generates and we like this method to re return a data set which is correct we have not done any implementation yet let's quickly go and create a connection string so I'll say SQL connection connection SQL connection it gives me a prompt I'll say SQL client connection is equal to new SQL connection and then I'll say configuration manager manager dot configuration manager manager dot connection string why connection string because okay I'll first write it down this is what I'm going configuration manager dot connection string now why connection string if I'll open my web dot config file I got two sections right in configuration I got app settings and, and connection string as well if I want to configure my you know the connection string and app settings I can do that as well but in connection strings then I'll pick it up from the connection string so in configuration I'm picking the connection string from the connection string tag and what is the value uh, which I'm providing here is my connection string so let's get that and I'll put right here control V control V and dot to string that's it I believe my connection string is set up correctly load grid view quickly go to load grid view start implementing the stuff okay so I'll say uh, SQL data adapter again there are a few uh, different techniques to fill the data set using SQL command using SQL adapter right now it's for the demo time so I'll quickly wrap this thing with the SQL adapter now the query is pretty simple what I'm saying is <coughs> adapter you need to fire a query and this would be your connection this connection guy is same as this connection guy right so I'm asking adapter to select use a select query in which I'll show you view server explorer you can see select star from TV user same table name which I'm using here I'm using here then simply I'll say data set DS is equal to what's DS is equal to new data set once the data set is ready I'll say adapter dot fill please fill my data set once this is done then I'll say okay I'll say return DS okay now one more thing if my if my page dot is pushed back I have to check I mean like if my page is loading for the first time then I'm gonna load the grid view otherwise I like to have my own control for loading a grid on a pushback right so now what I'm doing is I'm simply just loading a grid view okay and I know this guy returns simply uh, <coughs> a data set so what I'll do is 
I'll just go this way. I'll say my grid view ID. Grid view one dot data source is equal to lower grid view, and I'll say <coughs> grid view one dot data bind. And let's try to run this thing. When you will run this page first time, when the page load for the very first time, it is going to call a load grid view method. In load grid view method, I'm just simply doing this writing a query, executing a query, and simply filling the data set, returning data set, that will automatically fill the grid view. Okay. This would be part one. So let's run. I'll say okay. <coughs> let's run it. And as you can see, this is for the, as you can see, right, I got rocks, there are everything. Whoopsie, I haven't specified any salary. One second, let me go and change the database. Oh, view server explorer. Server explorer, let's say. Salary you are getting as 5G. You're getting 7G. And let's execute and let's run one more time. Okay, now what's taking so long? As you can see, like pretty much clear, you can see the grid is loaded successfully. Now, the thing is, like as you can see, once I attach the data set to my grid view, grid view automatically knows like ID is present, first name, last name, salary, everything is present. But this is not the way. I cannot control the stuff. Now I want more control over this. I like to have my own header text. I want to have my own labels. And I mean like I like to have my own controls inside of this if you check the design I have in design another thing right I got one second source I got this much thing I cannot control things the way I want right so I want to have a control like you know inside my grid I like to have edit update functionality apart from that in my grid view, I like to have a footer where you know you know I can add a text box where I can insert user that kind of functionality I require so that comes into the next part which I mean we'll be using uh, I mean generally I call it as a weapon you'll be using a uh, thing as called as template field in which you can have uh, item templates you can have the footer templates I mean alternating templates I mean you got plenty of stuff going on in there I mean pretty much I mean like more you get a control of there I mean more you can change the, I mean control the grid more right okay so in next section we'll We'll complete the inserting a grid view using the footer. But right now you got the idea, right? How I'm filling the grid view. Alrighty then.